Welcome to another great Cal Basic uh, demonstration. Today, I'm just going to take you through image conversion. I've just created a new tool and it sort of works quite easily. So let's have a quick look through that. And it makes it a lot easier to import pictures. Okay, let's go out to what I've got on my desktop. So I've got my desktop. I have got the IDE. I've got a camera and that says uh, G GC basic rocks with a little picture on it and we're going to have a look how that actually happens well essentially what we've got is a routine um, that's called draw PNG I'll show you on my screen it's here if I just zoom in on for you draw PNG and it's going to put a picture at a location on the screen I'll just show you that very quickly just to show you how it draws now all it's doing is reading in a table of data and that table of data is then displayed on to, on that GLCD. What well, doesn't really matter what the GLCD is, it's actually getting the source data into your program. So now it's just programming the chip, it's just flashing it, verifying it, and it will put a picture on the screen. There we go, and I moved the picture. And so how do we go about creating these pictures? Because I, in previous videos, we've had to do manual editing, but now we don't have to. Okay, inside of um, GC Code, you can press F4 and you can take Image Converter. It's one of the options. I've already opened that Image Converter and here it is on my screen. Here it is. I've got a picture of a car. I won't be using that one. If I just zoom in for you a little bit so you can just see it a bit better, I'll just move that in, into there. There's a car. So let's just see how it works. I'm just going to open up an image. I'm going to open up a mini image of um, some red, some really simple, some really simple colours. Okay. Now I'm, I'm showing you these because we're going to put them on the screen. Okay. Uh, what it's got? It's got some information on the left about the file name, its dimensions, and the size of the file. If you want to reduce the size of the file, you can click on here and reduce the file size. That's quite important when pictures are very large. And you're going to give it a table name, and that table name needs to match your program. And I will auto, I will just show you how that works. And then you can use a thing called Windows uh, Slider Windows Compression. This file is currently uh, 23,000 bytes. If I turn on Slider Window Compression, it turns it down to 16 bytes. Yep, 16 bytes. Um, so you can draw the whole of that in 16 bytes. Um, why don't we just have a look at the sliding window representation. Now, I am just going to save that. And I'm going to save that into a particular location on my hard drive. And I've just called it t.h. And I'm going to include that. And inside of t.h, there's a series of, um, it's just a table. And that table, if we look in here, has just been created. It's just been created a few minutes ago. Let me just get rid of that for you um 16 exactly a few moments ago and it says it's 200 by 116 pixels it's a gcb table lots of information in there so let's just put that on our let's put that inside of our chip and it's glcd i am it's not compressed so i'm just going to use this draw png and all it does it's reads that data in and sends it directly to the glcd okay so press F5, and it will error out because I didn't get the table name correct because I couldn't remember what it was. So it's trying to compile it. And it says here, the lookup table smile wasn't found. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to go back into our tool here, change the table name, change the table name here, and just uh, save that file again. Back into Greg into the IDE and press a function key F5, or you can do hex and flash, and it will just recompile it. And now it will find that table because it's got the right match. So there's a routine in here that reads the table called Smile. It's got some parameters in there, and it puts it out onto the um, board. Now it says here that the the program is too large. That's really good because we could go back into our program here and we can say rescale that to 100. Oh, 100. Oh, my, I'm in the dark here, so that would help. Save that again. Put that into t.h. And just recompile. It will go in this time. 
and it will put on the screen this picture. And it's a picture of red, green, and blue. And then what we'll do in a moment, we'll just change that, and we'll change that into a compressed file, just to show that there is a difference. Red, green, and blue. Excellent. I'm going to come into here now, and I'm going to compress it, and I'm going to save it. I have a slightly different demo for compressed files. Uh, you saw this last time I was working on this um, particular chip. Same source file. Um, it's this. It's essentially draw a compressed PNG. Now, obviously, it's a lot smaller. This file is tiny. We'll look at the .h file. It's called Smile Compress this time. Let me come into here. That makes absolute sense. Save the file again. Press F5 to program it. And this time, what we'll see is the screen change but this time it will draw it full size because it's compressed it's got the program space now it's got methods in there to compress the file and decompress there you go same hey it's not the same because i can put that back to its original size can't i look look 240 is that the width of this of this board now the maximum I can go to, because the maximum is that, save, save the file. So what I just did there, I just changed the parameters here to 200, and now I'm just going to press F5 to reprogram it, and we'll see, we'll get the uh, picture up a little bit faster. Obviously, you can put it wherever you want on the screen, and we'll go back to the pretty picture shortly. I just cleared the screen, it's three second wait. Now it's drawing out the different colors. Great, so it's doing it. So you can now import and export quite large files. Now, I'm not optimizing the speed of this. You can do a lot of optimization on the speed. This is showing you the basics. So let's go back to my picture of the. Uh, let me open an image. Smiley face. I'm going to uncompress it. I'm going to save it. Save it back into my .h file. Back in my compiler, I'm going to go over to my program that's uncompressed. Because this, this is not a compressed picture. And program it. I'm going to press the button at the top. It's now doing it. And it will put that picture on there. So we've now got utility that reads PNGs, JPEGs, whatever. It's not the best application in the world, but it does functionally work. It creates the tables pretty well and pretty instantly. Different picture. So now you can go through and you can just use this utility. Open up an image, Yoda. Uh, I'm going to call it Smile only because then I don't have to change my code. This is the table name. Save the file. Put it into the .h file. Might be too large. I didn't do any checking. The size of that file is um, 8K, so that's fine. Compressed, it would be even larger. So don't be doing that. Let's have a look at the camera. Yoda. And the utility to import and export pictures from Great Car Basic. Enjoy.